Humbly more, I remember in la one of his speeches he had mentioned that he comes from a humble background where his mother was a farm laborer. And uh, that's the mother I think he has put in front of his eyes while drafting this entire bill. But sir, I would humbly ask the Honorable Minister, there are just two or few clarifications I would ask you to sir, say, that he has obviously put woman as a center point in this. But the larger picture is rationalizing all the things. You have constantly come up with new innovative ideas of improving the bill and make it stronger in the interest of the women. But there are several bills which are overlapping each other. To make this the whole idea of the leave, I appreciate there were several doctors who talked about women's health, women's issues, whether it should be less, whether it should be more. Sir, there are a lot of women who have worked till the last day of having the baby. So it's not necessary that all women really need this six months. So that's the first point. And there are a lot of women who rush back to work happily with having enough support system at home. So it's not a challenge that every woman really needs this. So is there an opportunity that if this 26 weeks can be divided at different times because everybody is made differently. So is there an opportunity that she uses this six week, six months that you have given rather than taking at one go at different times as her child grows up? Could we do that? Because that's probably something a woman can use. The other thing I would like to is extensively there's been talk about unorganized sector. So really, how are you going to track every pregnant woman in this country and make sure that she gets every benefit, sir? Because if she's a woman working in some backward farm, how are we going to track her pregnancy? Yes, the Asha does her job, the Anganwadi worker does the job. But is the basic rest enough for her? People have talked about malnutrition, but I think the only point we've all missed out in this is anemia. The woman is never malnourished. She's probably, the child is malnourished, but the woman is anemic. That's how she produced a malnutrition child. So the point we really need to address is 73% of women in India are anemic. So the, the, that's, that's the lady who really gives, no, no, I agree, no, no, but uh, no crops, anemic woman continue. gives birth to a malnutrition Supriyaji, child. Supriyaji, please continue. Yeah. So that's the point I was making. So if we could address this not make this an isolated example of just leave. We need to integrate the women and child department, the health department and labor department. If together they work, only then this is going to succeed. And the whole challenge of making the, all the speeches, especially which I hear from women, Arvind Savanji spoke very pro-women, but there were some other speeches which made us into our weaker sex out of the male and secure, which we are not. We are proud to have our children. We are strong enough to have our children. There are times women get back to work immediately. So this is not a petty leave that we are getting as somebody is doing us a favor and being kind. And it should not be used as deterrent against us that every time she's going to have a child, she, we have to give her six months of salary. So who's really going to pay this salary, especially in the un unorganized sector? Who's going to pay for it, sir? So we really need to see the government will have to play a role if they are genuinely committed to improving the situation. This is not for women or working in IT companies. They are right. If they don't get six months of salary, it's a double income, income. But it's really for the bottom of the pyramid woman. So how are you going to protect her and make sure she gets the rights? So I think that's the larger picture we need to debate. A lot has been said about the paternity leave. I think we are all agreeable on that. But the last point I would like to make is how will you universalize this? My, my only concern is how are we going to pay it? How are we going to implement it? And how is it going to be an universal fair treatment for all? And the thing about the third child, in India, there are a lot of families, the woman does not have the third child out of her free will. That's the point Sushmita Dev made. My point is completely different. I'm an only child. My mother fortunately never worked and she would have never got the second leave and the benefits. But in a case like Sushmita was the first child, what is her fault? That's not a choice she had as a, as a child, nor did her, I don't know whether her mother had to have the third child. So we really need to look at it in the larger because by the time you have, if you're really looking at biologically, by the time you have your third and fourth child, the woman is physically exhausted and biologically also exhausted. So is it a fair deal? If it's a family planning issue, we can talk about it.
अरे आई हैव चिल्ड्रन यू हैवेंट लेट्स नॉट गेट इनटू दिस आर्गुमेंट दिस इज पार्लियामेंट एनीवे मेन आर टॉकिंग ओवर मेनोपॉज आई हैव सीरियस ऑब्जेक्शन हु आर यू टू डिसाइड व्हेन वी आर मेनोपॉजिंग आई हैव कंप्लीट ऑब्जेक्शन टू ऑल दिस नो नो प्लीज देयर आर लॉट ऑफ मेन हु आर टेकिंग फ्री फ्री पॉट्स वी आर जस्ट बीइंग डिग्निफाइड बाय कीपिंग क्वाइट बट आई डोंट थिंक वी वांट आवर हेल्थ टू बी डिस्प्लेड एंड डिस्कस्ड एट दैट लेवल व्हिच इज कंप्लीटली अनफेयर वी आर फॉर जेंडर इक्वालिटी सो आई डोंट थिंक वी आर कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट इट सो आई डोंट नो व्हाई द मेन इन दिस हाउस टुडे आर कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट एंड फ्लैगिंग इश्यूज व्हिच आर इरेलेवेंट फॉर this bill no, all, men are the, <laughs> all men are few men are some of us are with us thank you so i would would like to ask him that let's have clarity because there are millions of artisans women from smaller sections like the adivasis now they go to work they are not having their third and fourth child because of their there are social issues they are having so how are we going to address this so this is a very serious bill sir i would request the honorable minister while drafting all these he looks at all social issues all social angles all financial angles and rationalize all our bills because unless they are all consolidated individually your intention sir is very good i respect it i appreciate and i thank you from the bottom of my heart as a woman but at the same time how are we going to implement it to make sure that it's flawless so i would appreciate if in your reply you could tell us that how we can get this impl uh, implemented flawlessly and it reaches the last woman who really deserves this help who we have centered this bill against thank you iske liye modi sarkar chupi kyun saadi hai mai puchna chahta hu har cheez ko tweet karte hain har cheez par wo baat karte hain is pe kyun chupi saade hain is pe kyun baat nahi kar rahe hain kya baat hai